I just built the first two-way text messaging system inside of Airtable, and I'm super excited about it. If you haven't heard, there's a new feature in Alpha right now from Airtable that allows you to create custom interface extensions writing your own code. If you're interested in the details of how I did that, I encourage you to check out my other video that we just created. But in this video, I just want to dig into the cool functionality of what we can do with text messaging inside of Airtable. Hey, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com, and we help companies like yours get automated with portals, apps, and integrations. So we're going to take a look at this new custom extension that I'm working on, and I'm inside of an interface right now. And so we can see that we are texting with a client. We can choose a dropdown of our different clients. We can see who we're chatting with. And in fact, with our custom interface, we can actually tap into Airtable's functionality out of the box to expand information. So because we're chatting with, I guess, myself, we can open this up and this pulls open the record details to actually expand this and see other information about our customer. Now, the first thing that happens is we get a text message from our customer. Let's pretend this is an e-commerce use case and they're asking for information about where their order's at. So underneath the hood, we're using OpenPhone and OpenPhone's API to actually handle the sending of text messages. Now, a lot of people recommend using Twilio, but if you're using Twilio with something like Zapier, you're not typically doing two-way text messaging. You're using it for things like sending out a one-way notification to your customers. But in reality, most of the time, we want to be able to engage and actually have a two-way conversation with our customer. And that's where OpenPhone comes in really handy. If you're interested in learning more about OpenPhone, I encourage you to check out the link in the description, as well as a video that we've made specifically on OpenPhone. So back inside of Airtable, we could leave a message and we could send this. And when we send that message, what's happening is you can see it's queued up and then it's actually delivering that message. And so now the information has been delivered. I actually, if I'm looking at my phone, get this text message back. Hey, how can I help you today? It's actually happening in near real time. And this functionality by itself is pretty exciting to be able to have our customer information and data and then be able to carry on a conversation with our customer is really useful. But I wanted to take this a step further because if we have all of our customers information inside of Airtable, wouldn't it be great if we could take that information and use it to actually enrich our conversations as opposed to having to manually text back and forth? So here in Airtable, if I scroll down, these are the different settings that I can have with my custom extension, and I added my own custom properties. So here I can edit these templates. What I've done is I've created the ability to create text message templates that actually pull from our live Airtable data, and we can create multiple of them. So I have one for a greeting and one for our order status, and notice this at symbol. So we can say, hi, first name, Let's go ahead and check out how this works. So if I'm talking to my customer and I'm working with multiple customers at the same time, it might be hard for me to remember who exactly I'm talking to and I don't wanna mess that up. So here I can use one of my templates for greeting and I can just start typing greeting and tab off and this is going to automatically inject that template. So it's saying, hi, Dan. It's taking the first name of the client that we're interacting with. And this isn't hard coded in there. It's actually pulling from Airtable's own database. And so if I texted another customer like Michael, now if I were to pull open the same exact greeting, it's going to populate it with hi, Michael, instead of hi, Dan. But I also built in the functionality to do more custom logic, conditional logic within the templates themselves. So you remember, initially Dan asked, hey, where's my order at? Well, I could start typing manually, hey, Dan, here's information about your order. Look up the order information and put that in. But here's where I could simply search for order status, and that's going to inject the information. This is the actual tracking link for that particular order for that particular customer. Now, if we go back to Michael and select him, and we also want to do the order status, notice that the response is entirely different looks like your order hasn't left the warehouse yet. Give us one to two business days. This isn't giving a tracking code. It doesn't have a tracking code with a null value. This is an entirely different message. And the reason it's a different message is because if we look at Michael's profile, his order hasn't left the warehouse. It's pending. Why would we give a tracking ID if we haven't yet assigned a tracking ID? So if we go back and take a look at our template, notice that we're not just putting in fields dynamically, but we're also using conditionality to say, hey, if the order status is shipped, then your order's on the way. That's the first message that we saw. And the second message is if it's pending, then we give this different message. So back when we were texting with Michael, one of the things that I think we could improve about this is that we just have this message of, looks like your order hasn't left the warehouse yet. 
Now, it would be helpful because he doesn't know which order that we're talking about. Maybe he has multiple orders. So I think it would be really helpful if we actually injected the specific order ID as opposed to just kind of this more vague language around it. So let's go into our template editor. And one of the things that we need to do is make sure that this order ID field, which is a lookup, where to go, order ID, we're gonna make sure that this is visible and is an option. And so now we can see that order ID field is one of our available to choose from. We can go into our logic, looks like your order, and this is where we want to insert that order ID. So I'll do my at symbol and we'll start searching for order and I'll click on order ID. And let's make sure we've got a space here. So it looks like your order, order ID hasn't left the warehouse yet. I'm going to turn off the editing of the templates and we'll make sure to publish this. So now if we're texting with Michael and we want to inject our order status, notice how when we select it, we have that order ID. And that's how easy it is to be able to create our own custom templates. So some of the other interesting pieces are that the actual integration logic itself, right now I have living inside a pipe dream. Pipe dream is similar to N8N or Make or Zapier if you're familiar with those. And so these workflows are really just making an API call. We've got a trigger, a webhook, and that connects us to OpenPhone simply to make those requests, either to send a message or to actually retrieve a list of messages. Now in the future, they're adding a feature to allow us to securely make those API calls from within Airtable itself, so we won't necessarily have to rely on a third-party system. And the feature that I'm working on right now is typically systems like this use polling to determine if there's any new text messages. They're going to check every couple of seconds to say, hey, do you have any new text messages? And then pull them. But that's not necessarily super performant. So one of the things I'm excited about is using a system of webhooks to be able to determine, hey, if there's an actual new text message, let's use that to update our data back in Airtable to say, let's refresh that interface. I'm really excited about all the new experiences that we can build now that we can create our own custom extensions inside of Airtable interfaces. If you have any questions about extending and customizing your own Airtable build, don't hesitate to reach out to our website at automationhelpers.com where we're offering free 30-minute consultations.